so uh, I was uh, I got a positive test for COVID um, a couple of days ago up here in northern Colorado and so far my experience with this is that uh, uh, I had uh, symptoms I believe it was Monday night I started feeling kind of a raspy throat you know like I was getting a chest cold and so uh, Tuesday Tuesday morning I went in to a uh, urgent care office and uh, waited for two hours to get a uh, swab for a COVID test. And so uh, early the next morning, and they were quite quick actually, I have to say, they, the, they called me with the results and said, you're testing positive for COVID. Um, I had asked uh, my doctor for uh, monoclonal antibodies uh, treatment, and uh, he said that uh, that's not really working with this new, the newer strains of uh, COVID that was working last year, you know, a year and a half ago, but it's, he said that's not really working with uh, the newer strains. And he prescribed Paxlovid. By the way, I didn't go into my doctor. I just uh, called them and communicated and, and by phone and said, hey, look, uh, I went to urgent care and they said I've got uh, COVID. So, uh, and he, prescribed Paxlovid, which uh, I've read up on since then a bit, and uh, that's prescribed for, you know, people kind of like me, you know, older people, you know, that might be, have some breathing problems, or not that I have breathing problems, but, uh, you know, I'm older now, I'm 64, so, uh, you know, people that could be at risk and stuff like that. Uh, but unfortunately, uh, Paxlovid also has a nasty reaction with another medication I take. So I'd have to be off of that other medication for five straight days uh, that I take, which would be bad news. That would not be a good thing. And uh, I'd have to go off that other medication for five straight days to take the Paxlovid, because it has, uh, the nurse told me, um, it has a really bad reaction with uh, one of my other medications. So, it's a bit of a quandary. So, I've decided not to use Paxlovid, um, even though they say that uh, Paxlovid can, can lessen uh, the severity of COVID, and it, and it can... Um, lessen the length. It's an antiviral drug. It's actually two drugs, Paxlovid. It's two different antiviral medications that they prescribe. And um, so I've decided not to use that. So I've had this, I guess, since uh, Monday night, and now it's uh, Thursday. My symptoms with uh, with this uh, variation of COVID have been uh, basically it feels like a really bad cold. I started feeling bad uh, Tuesday morning, and uh, then I like I said I went and got in a got a test, and uh, it just felt like a really bad cold, you know, like chest pain. Uh, when I would cough, I was coughing. When I would cough, it just uh, hurt on my right side. My chest hurt on my right side. And uh, it just felt, you know, headache. I'd w I woke up with uh, a headache in the morning. And a uh, bit of a stuffy nose, coughing up some stuff. You know, it just felt like a kind of a nasty cold is what it feels like to me. So, I guess it's about day three here that I've had this, 
and I'm quarantining in the basement here at uh, the house because I have uh, I live with older people and uh, I don't want to expose them to it I'm wearing a mask whenever I have to you know go upstairs I'm quarantining in the basement and I put the N95 mask on which luckily we had still had some left and uh, you know I'm just eating normal uh, I still have an appetite you know I didn't feel like eating much yesterday afternoon but other than that I've you know I still have an appetite um, and uh, it just has a lot of aches and pains you know you, you feel like you're sore and um, and uh, just extreme tiredness like really tired you know like the first uh, first day like Tuesday and then Wednesday I just felt really really tired and today already on the Thursday uh, I don't feel quite so tired anymore I took a really long nap uh, this morning from about 8 until 11 and just fell asleep into a really deep restful sleep which was great um, and uh, I could feel that uh, it feels like most of the symptoms are starting to go away although I still have chest pains uh, when I breathe or when I cough there's still some uh, some pain in my chest I'm noticing a uh, bit of a stuffy nose and I have chills you know I have to I'm keeping this uh, ski parka on <laughs> in the house which is you know not normal because I, I have I feel chilled a lot and I've got uh, space heaters on and you know we've got a, a wood stove here and uh, that I I can put on at night and just uh, keep the whole basement warm while I'm quarantining and uh, so that's basically what it's felt like to me so I'm just uh, oh and I'm also taking uh, over-the-counter over medications uh, I was using this uh, Mucinex Max it's called Mucinex uh, Max uh, sinus cold and allergy I'm also using a VIX daycare you know in a soft gel form and I've used that for years and that works pretty good too it just lessens the severity of the symptoms you know I don't feel quite so tired uh, the aches and pains aren't quite as bad and the headache goes away and so that's uh, my experience thus far um, I've been told uh, by some different people I need to you know drink a lot of water so I'm taking that advice and uh, somebody else a friend of mine suggested getting a this little thing that you put on your finger that's like an oxygen sensor just to keep tabs on uh, you know your oxygen in your body and I haven't done that yet but uh, I actually haven't gone anywhere since I got COVID because I'm supposed to be quarantining so that's my experience thus far uh, with COVID I mean it's uh, this first hit what two and a half years ago and I this is the first time I've I've uh, had it or encountered it so um, and that's my experience thus far thanks for watching